Good afternoon, YouTubers. Where's my drink go? Back here having a bit of. I've actually got a bit of mocha in my fat boy cup. Out in the. I finally got round to. I say sorting out the shed. What I actually meant is I just chucked all the junk to the back, so I had enough room to get a seat in here, so I can actually. So I can actually um, be a bit in under cover rather than outside. It's a bit cold today. No, it's actually quite nice here. You need to be a bit careful smoking a pipe because just down to my right hand side is actually a tin of petrol, but <laughs> obviously. Just um, got back from taking the number one son to play rugby. Um, I think the technical fray, they had a good game to be fair and he, he actually had a good game and they, all the lads did but I think they, uh, I think the technical phrase is they were on the uh, on the ass end of an ass whooping because it's a friendly they played three 20 minute thirds I think the first third they lost mm, 24 Seven nil, I think it was, or twenty nine nil, or something like that. And then the second, there was they lost ten five. That wasn't so bad. And the third, they lost five nil, which again wasn't too bad. So I'm, some, I'm having a bit of mocha in my Doctor Plum uh, with some. Uh, What's it called? Um, I think it's a Gauntley's tobacco called I think it's called Deliverance or Desperado or something like that. It's not bad. Not as um I quite like the El Picante Americana because it was a spiciness and this is a bit not quite so spicy, but it's yeah, not bad smoke. Anyway, the reason for my video today is, I, as some of you may be aware, I passed my 100 subscribers mark um, for, before Christmas. You know, I never did any competition or anything. So, uh, and the reason for that is because I'd only just, well, before Christmas, I still wasn't technically in full time employment. And then obviously I had this January I had to work like a month in hand sort of thing, which was a bit of a struggle. So I had to go a month without anything at all. And, but now I've, now we're back into the swing of things. And I thought I would do my my hundred subscribers competition. Um, so what would I like people to do? I think what I would like to do is to. I've got two things in my mind. I think mm, I think we'll just do an easy one. What I'd like some somebody to do is I want you to make a video showing one of your one of your if not your favourite pipe. So this one isn't my absolute favourite. My absolute favourite pipe is my Mr. Brog that I've got, but this one is my, probably my second favourite, which is the Dr. Plum. Um, I got it off of eBay for not an awful lot of money, I don't know, 10, 15 quid or something. I think it, I think it's, you know, a has got, I think it's actually, you know, what, I don't know, 40s, 50s or something, so it's got a, a little bit of age to it, sort of thing. I mean, the box that it came in, because it came with the original box, looked, the, the graphics on it look, look, looked quite, you know, sort of 40s ish. And it says, the, the catchphrase on it was, um, there's like a little, I actually took it out, but there's like a little metal, um, I guess it's like a heat sink or something in the pipe and the, the catchphrase is they say it looks like it's like you're smoking through ice but to be honest I, did, I tried it and I don't know about smoking through ice it's more like when I smoke through concrete 
So I'll, uh, I took it out and it's been fine. Oh, the only other thing with this was that when I got it was you've got the little dot there, if you can see, just there, which is just above where it says plum. And hmm, when I first got it, I was lifting it all up and I was hmm, chuffing away and it's like, I'm not getting any smoke at all. I thought, what the hell's going on here? Now, I didn't realise until I really closely looked, but there's a the little dot above the plum, which I guess has a little plastic plug in normally, the little plug had come out, so there was actually getting not an air seal. So I just, to be honest, I plugged it up with a matchstick and sort of fouled it off a bit, and it's been absolutely fine. So anyway, so what I'd like you to do for my 100 subscribers plus competition, I think I'm actually more like 170 now, to be fair, but, you know, we'll call it 100. What I'd like people to do is just just get one of their sort of more favourite pipes and just, just talk about it a little bit. Show it, um, you know, talk about where they got it from, why they got it. I got this one because I just, I had another Dr. Plum, which I really liked, and I just liked the shape of this one with the, the sort of tapered, on the tapered sort of thing on the stem. I really like this one, it's really comfy, it's got a nice smooth, you know, nice big sort of, well, big, but smooth bowl. Mm. Really nice. Now, prize-wise, for my competition, I have one prize already, and I may well, I dare say, get another prize as well, but I haven't decided what the other one's going to be yet. But, but the main prize is... Um, is this, which is, it's not new, it's in a, it was in a state when I got it, but I've cleaned it all up, and this was actually um, the second pipe I, I ever bought, and I bought it off, again, off of eBay as a job lot, it's not actually a uh, Missouri Meersham, it's, I think it's called, uh, uh, Scott from Aeroscob did tell me before, I think it's called a Herschel and Bendheim, so it's a bit of a sort of vintagey um, corn cob. It's in, you know, it's in pretty good, you know, good condition. I have, I say, I have cleaned it up and so forth, and it's really, you know, smokes nice. This actually, when I got it, was actually my favourite pipe for quite a while. If you look back at some of my earlier videos, you'll see me merrily smoking away on this. And this is actually the pipe, my photo that's in that's in my profile. YouTube this is actually the pipe that I had I was used I had in, in at the time when I took the photo so it's a little bit of history to it from my point of view um, so that is the main main prize um, I dare say with that there will be I, I haven't decided what yet but there will be some um, tobacco product of some description So there we go. So if you fancy winning a sort of vintagey Herschel and Benheim corncob pipe, please make a video response, stating showing one of your favourite pipes and talking a little bit about it and link it to this video. And finally I would just like to say thank you to everybody in the pipe community, and particularly my first five first one hundred subscribers for just making me so welcome. I've um, I've really enjoyed sort of watching videos, making videos. It's nice to be a bit of a part of a community. And um, cheers. Have a nice Sunday, and please enter my hundred subscribers competition to win the corn cob pipe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.